DTLR Radio, you're plugged in with Phantom Got the Juice, live from the BT Broadcast Brunch in downtown LA on this beautiful weekend. And I'm sitting here with a so, so beautiful uh, award winning double XL freshman cover, <laughs> New York bread, Maya the Don is in Hello. the building. Talk to him. Hey, Let's, I'm excited. Now, I know y'all are expecting it. This should have been happening. I don't know why she hasn't been in DC and Baltimore enough in my Love presence. It. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that. Puerto Rico Rob, we got to get together with that. We got to figure out what's up. But listen, <laughs> congratulations on the double XL award, Thank double XL freshman cover. How do you feel about getting that? What did that mean to you? Um, I feel blessed. I'm so happy. It's like a little piece of hip hop history that I'm a part of. So I'm really excited to just you know have that accolade. It's a stepping stone, and it means a lot to me as a like hip hop fanatic, rapper, nerd. You know. That's real. Especially coming out of New York, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. How, how do you deal with that pressure coming out of a city like New York? Um, I don't really feel pressured. I kind of, I'm doing my own thing. Nobody's forcing me to do nothing or, you know, I don't think, I don't pressure people so they don't pressure me, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I know what I'm capable of and the things that I can do and the heights that I can reach. And it's kind of just like second nature, you know? I'm just, I'm doing it and I'm doing it well. Now, New York is going crazy right now with this sexy drill wave. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where Maya the Don stand in this sexy drill way. Uh, <laughs> Maya the Don isn't a drill rapper, but I love it. I love the wave um, that Cash started. I give it to Cash. You know, he's like the king of yep. it, kind of. Well, he is. He is a kid, yep. <laughs> So shout out Cash Cobain. I love it. He's super authentic. He came out with a sound. And he's he's so cool to me. I think it's super dope with him. Chow, Vance, all of the, them are the doing. Whole, the whole squad. Whole Slizzy yeah, squad. The whole Slizzy squad, right? <laughs> I tried to come up there for the show he did that Monday um, at Urban Plaza. It was a zoo. It was crazy. They shut it down. Yeah. It was a mess. We it was went, crazy. Yeah, I we was there. To, we went to Empire, though, that night. And we, we all kind of kicked it. So it was a... It was a good vibe, but that was just like, damn, like they can't do anything. Yeah. So, do you have any plans on? I know you're not a drill rapper, but sexy drill seems like it's a little different, right? Do you have any plans on at least trying it? Uh, you know, I'm happy to be a part of anything that's New York. I'm super supportive of all of them and that wave that they're creating. I think it's dope. I think they're cool. I think they're talented. And, you know, we've been talking about getting in the studio. So if that's what uh, the people want, that's what then the, that's what the that's people want to get. I, I okay? can see, listen, a sexy woman like yourself on some sexy drill. I can see that. I'm there for it. Now, Callie just did something recently, right, with Kendrick and Friends. Do you think, what what New York artist you think could kind of replicate that? <laughs> um, oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh. Tough. Tough. New York, um, get it I think it depends on <laughs> what genre you talk about. Because I think easily, like, a Sleepy Hollow and, like, a chef could bring the city out. Cardi bring the city out, you know? Uh, we, have, we have more than enough people... That's gonna, you know, turn up for New York the way that Kendrick turned up for Cali, you know. Um, it's just it's like a crabs in a barrel situation. It's you know, tough. it's like it's who tough. gonna do it? It's who, tough. you know? Everybody need to come together and get that done. Listen, uh, Kendrick or Drake, if you had to do a, a, a record with one right now, who you picking? Um, both. Both. I'm a big fan of both of Smart them, girl. and I think. No, real shit though, like, I think regardless of how you feel about either one of them, like, amazing, talented people, like, Absolutely. you can't take nothing away from either one of them. Absolutely. I'm super fans of the both of them. They're both amazing. I think it was a moment in history. Uh -huh. I wish they would have kept going forever, because I'm a nerd and a geek, <laughs> and I would have, like, sat there and studied every lyric and beat down to the bone, hey, you listen, know? I work records, right? I send music out to DJs. So they were sending me these records like probably like an hour or 30 minutes yeah. before they dropped. So I'm trying to be the first to send it out yeah. because just, it was that electrifying. Yeah, it's and, that serious. And, yeah, and it meant that much. And I'm a big Drake fan. So he's losing, but I'm like, yo. I, I don't know. Drake's the GOAT. Kendrick the GOAT. He is the GOAT. He is it's, the GOAT. They both are the GOAT. GOAT. You can't take nothing away from Drake. His influence in hip-hop is too major and too important for anybody to say that he's not because of a battle. That's true. He yeah, did what he true, did, and he true. stood on his toes. He's gangster, and they, you have to respect it. Give this girl a feature. Give, him, <laughs> give her a feature. 
Give her a uh, feature. I'm back in the middle of feature. Give, give, give her a feature. <laughs> now, what you got new coming out? What's um, lots. I'm working on a new project. I'm okay. really excited. I'm going on tour in Europe next week. Oh, you're I'm in really, Europe. Yes. I'm really, really excited Say for that, that. Say that, then. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. The town's going crazy. Um, you had such success with Telfy. When did you realize that, like, this was your call and this was, this was your lane? It's working. I've known since I was young. You know, I love music. I'm very passionate about it. It's something that means a lot to me, and I hold it really dear to my heart. I take it very seriously. So... Just it's just something that I feel like you like born with, you know. I can dig it. How do you deal with uh, the DMs? I don't. I have a social media manager. I don't be on in this, the internet. So if a, if a guy come in your DMs, you that's not how you talk to oh, me. Oh, that's not how you talk to. You fellas. can't get to my other not through DM. Fellas, you can't get to the DM. Sorry, not through email. None of that. Not, my not manager email. and not my team runs all of that. Oh, yeah. You gotta catch me in person. You gotta catch her in person. <laughs> she in person right now too. That's crazy, y'all. Yeah, catch me outside. That, catch me outside. Last thing, craziest fan moment for you. Um, craziest fan moment. I got a lot of crazy fans. Yeah, yes, you do. And my fans I and mean, I have such a good relationship. I love the mafia, so they kind of treat me like we family. Like uh -huh. you know, sometimes people will feel like such a connection to you that they don't remember that they don't know you in real life. Uh -huh. So my fans be like jumping on me, like, "Hey, girl!" Like. You know, <laughs> headlock, and I'm sure I'm five one, so I'd be like, ah! listen, you heard a five one, okay? So that'd be like crazy to me when they be like jumping me or like um one girl I seen her at a basketball game and she like cried and was like shaking and I was like, girl, relax, please. Listen, that Telfy <laughs> hit them different. That catalog hit them different. Yeah. Listen, baby, I thank you for being here with me today. Thank Let you the people for know where to me. follow you at. You can follow me on all platforms at Maya the Don. That's M A I Y A. Make sure you spell it right. And yeah. Listen, New York is in the building. Maya the Don is here. Hey, Fatim got the juice. You know what's up? LA, we here. Let's go.